Hey, what up guys? Still with Joss. And as you can see right now, we are about to play City Skylines. I bought a game when it came out. Uh, actually, I pre-ordered the game when it came out. <laughs> I mean, I pre-ordered the game. And um, I played it once, but after that, I am just got so busy with my work. I uh, didn't have enough time to play it until now. But then, uh, hey, since I have the time, why don't I do some small review about the game, right? So, uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, as you can see, this is the starting screen of City Skylines. Uh, you can use your menu. Uh, and yeah, Steam Workshop. I think this is one of the great things right now. Uh, people are actually uh, creating stuff for the game. And... They do share it on the Steam Workshop. You can actually use it. You just have to. You just have to follow the builder. I think if you want to get the stuff, then you can use it in games. It's not like you can place it, but I think you can actually buy it in game uh, with the cash that you have. And uh, people are actually building some mod for the game as well. I heard about the GTA Five map. So the guy actually created the map exactly looks like the GTA 5 games. Um, that was impressive, man. And um, so yeah, the game is pretty much better than SimCity, I guess. Uh, I do play SimCity back in 2013, but um, it was just like that. It was flat, basically. You do have some, some achievement to get. But um, this game has a little bit more to offer than that. So I'm just going to start a new game for you guys. Because I don't want to give you guys some spoiler with my uh, other city that I've built uh, last time. So I'm just going to start a new game for you. And there we go. First, you have the chance to... Uh, Select the map that you want to play. Oops, fuck. Did I just press that? Well, anyway, doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you guys what we can do in the beginning, right? So just like any other SimCity map, you start off with a very plain map, uh, depending on the location that you selected earlier. And yes, uh, the, the, the map is actually bigger than you think. You can actually purchase some of these maps later on as you complete it uh, like a level or uh, some sort of like uh, achievement or task that you need to do. Um, a little bit of uh, trips, uh, tips just like any other building games. You might want to stop the game from running when you just started the game because obviously you don't want to waste amount of days right I know it's infinite days but we might as well so just like SimCity you start with like a road from somewhere and somehow it ended on your city so in city skylines you you have to build a road in order to create a building so it's not like in SimCity you can just place the building first and then create the road later on. So, but uh, in City Skylines, you have to start with the road. So, um, early in the game, you can only have a few types of road. As you completed more tasks, um, which I believe it's somewhere. Okay, I'm lost. No. No. All right, I think it's over here. No, it's not there. Fuck. Oh fuck, I'm lost. This is just like a, it's, it's something like you have in SimCity whereby you have all the news from your citizens, complaints, all shows up on this tiny little bluebird. So there is a task that you need to go through oh that there you go so this is like uh, 
achievement kind of things a milestones that you have to achieve so this is uh, something different from SimCity I know that in SimCity as long as you have the, 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 the money you can just buy whatever you want uh, there are certain buildings that, 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 that are locked until you achieve some things but in uh, serious skylines you basically have to go through all these milestones uh, in order to unlock new features for your town for example you can't say we build a uh, elementary school medical clinic or landfill site without have to achieve uh, 340 uh, population which is I thought it's a it's a it's a it's something to encourage you to to build the cities uh, you can start to implement taxes and then you can start getting loans to make your city bigger basically and all that so okay I'm, I'm gonna just skip that for now because I think all these are pretty much basic stuff but I do like the fact that they have these milestones to unlock new features it, it gives you that motivation to always uh, achieve something so let's start with a building because normally in SimCity you'll just start with a power plant right not in this game though so they pretty much line up like a guideline for you which is, which is great hello Jared yep I'm playing City Skyline maybe later I'll talk to you later okay so as you can see as I build roads uh, they have this kind of like a grid next to it so this is like a like a uh, like a, a grid where you can build houses or uh, zoning for your house uh, business or industrial zone so I'm not gonna place it there because I'm just gonna look ugly it's the main road anyway so I'm just gonna drag more things so as you can see most of the buildings in uh, uh, there's no restriction like how big is the zoning gonna be but I think I think the biggest building right now is five times five if I'm not mistaken so if you see this guideline right here that's that is like uh, eight grid in total you can see right now you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so yeah you got ten sorry so if I just build another one like that I can just nice have this whole thing as a plot oh, oh by the way when it comes to zoning there's a lot of way of doing this you can either select fill whereby you can just select the whole thing or you can go by marquee you can go by marquee which is basically is like selecting uh, part of the grids let's say if you want to have some residential some uh, business in one single plot you can have that as well or you can have a small brush which basically like a photoshop brush you brush this thing like that oh shit never mind there's no money involved anyway so yeah you can do something like that or if you want a bigger brush of course the big brush who doesn't like big stuff right so I'm just gonna do it like that right so there goes my housing area right and um, just uh, right you see now uh, as I do more stuff they do give me more options uh, I can build a two-lane one-way route now so this is um, a good scenario if you want to build let's say a road uh, that has a school in it I think that's a that's a good way as well and yep so I got my housing okay why is there's nobody building because basically the game is in pause 
And before I'm going to start the game, I'm just gonna build more roads. And obviously, I want to start building my power plant. And just like I said earlier, you won't be able to build a power plant without having a road, right? So I'm gonna go with my power plant. So obviously, you have the options to go green with this wind turbine, but I'm not gonna do that. So. I'm gonna build one. So you see the the, the red circle thing that is basic, and you see the two icons over there. So basically, when you build this, you will generate a noise uh, pollution and also some sort of land pollutions. That's why you have the oil and the the headphone signs. So um, you do not want to build residential area around this uh, circles and also if you want to if you want to put like a water tower or uh, something that generates water for your residents you don't you don't want to build near this area because uh, then the water will be polluted and your citizens will be sick you'll see that later so I have my power plant now and if I start running it this now, uh, there'll be a lot of uh, lightning icons on top of my residence houses because I need to build uh, the power line in order to. So you see the the, the blue icon, the the blue area right now shows that my power plant. Uh, it's not connected to the uh, residential area at the moment although I have the roads but it doesn't mean they're connected so what I need to do is to create this uh, oh sorry what I need to do is build the power line across my Roads to my residential area. And that will do. Right? I like to pause the game as we progress further because I don't want to miss a single day with a lot of complaints from my residents. So I know that the lightning icon is not an issue because I've already put a, a power line between the power station and the residential area. So what I need is a water tower or pumping station. Well, pumping station, obviously the better choice, but it then costs you money. And also, it has that uh, noise pollution going on. But that's alright. I'm going to place it over here. Drag this all the way up. Right, just like that. I know it looks ugly guys but I mean just for the sakes of giving you guys a review so yeah I think uh, I think um, Paradox Interactive really did a great job here um, with all the stuff I know the game was built uh, from from the interview that was made recently um, the game developer did mention that uh, the game was built with the great sim city in mind because they know that the city buildings uh, city builders games has been pretty much uh, monopolized by sim city and uh, 
they, 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 they were kind of scared at the beginning when they created this game because they, they, they're afraid that people would think City Skylines as a cheap uh, replication of SimCity. But as it turns out, um, a lot of people are actually impressed by the game because uh, they do offer more in-depth uh, stuff about uh, this game compared to SimCity. Okay, as you can see now, uh, I have a lot of like uh, water, the pipe and brownish water. That is because I need to place the water drain pipe. So usually, uh, okay, over here you can see the water flows. You can actually see where the water will flows. So if you build like uh, water drain pipe you do not want to put it uh, let's say if you have a water pump over here you do not want to build the water uh, drain pipe over here because then this uh, area will basically get uh, will be uh, the water will be contaminated with the, the water drain pipe right so you gotta be careful on that and for this I'm gonna place it somewhere here disappear after a while so I think once now we have some residents in place I want to make sure they have jobs to do and I'm gonna build some industrial zone because uh, in the beginning you do not want to straight away build a uh, commercial zones because the commercial zones will basically empty without the industrial zones you gotta have something to produce in order to have something to sell right so I'm gonna build this a little bit further from the main town because uh, the industrial zone will usually gives uh, air pollution so nobody's want to live near the industrial zone. this one I don't know what's from there oh look apparently there's a hill over here oh, never mind look the building this is kind of nice right I mean there's a lot of details here So I have about 135, 25 more to go before I can unlock more stuff. Uh, let's build some more industrial area, housing area. When you guys play this you can come out with a better structure for your uh, pipelines and of course the electricity grid uh, you want to maximize that so you don't actually waste money to uh, create all these pipes and electricity uh, grid
much more so as you build more houses there are more people coming into your city and there are more uh, industrial area being created Right, so all these buildings, you can actually modify them. That's the best part about this game. Um, I'll show you maybe in the next video. But you can just load all these uh, buildings. And if, if you have a 3D uh, design expertise in uh, software, uh, you can actually create new buildings. Uh, select like... Uh, the size of the buildings like 5x5 five five, or is it 5x4 four, five four, and then start create a new buildings for the games then you can share it online with uh, everyone who plays the game through Steam Workshop which is a great thing so. not enough fuel right and uh, this is the economy panel you can basically adjust how much budget you want to put into electricity uh, water and garbage disposal health uh, fire department police station education all this which is good you can control all this uh, by yourself basically for example like electricity by increasing the amount of budget for the electricity i will I'll be able to hire more people to work in electricity to produce more electricity for the city, which is great. So instead of building a new one, it's gonna cost you a lot more because right now I have one power plant and it cost me 629. So if I build another one, that's gonna cost me the amount of the power plant plus the 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 the, the 629 which I have to pay probably monthly in order to serve the city but if I just increase the budget to hire more people the cost is gonna be more cheaper than building a second power plant oh damn we forgot about that oh look Ta -da! Yep, so I have unlocked the first milestones. I've reached 340 uh, city populations, and now I have few new features, taxes, loans, and new services like garbage disposal, healthcare, education. So I can build all these buildings right now. And as you can see, there are a lot more uh, milestones to reach there are more on the right side which I can't unfortunately I can't show you guys but um, there are more things to show you as I unlock all this uh, which probably gonna be in the next video so I think right now these are the basic stuff that you guys want to do when you create towns uh, you don't have to worry when you're reading all these uh, milestones uh, rewards because the city will be uh, on automatically pause and um, I hope this is uh, this has been a very informative uh, review for you guys I'll, I'll show you what we can do more on the next milestones and uh, I promise you the city will be better than this one for the next video right guys uh, I have to go now uh, subscribe if you want to see more uh, maybe I'll, 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 I'll try to upload once a week and I hope you guys uh, enjoy see you